morning, Rachel. Good morning, Peter. You sleep all right? Great. Now, I was just having a look at your wearable, and it appears your galvanic skin response was active last night. Stress levels a little high. Nightmares? Mm-mm. No. Must have been a malfunction. Maybe we should do another colon cleanse. Get rid of some of those anxiety-inducing microorganisms. Mm-mm. I'm feeling um refreshed, actually. The body pillow you got me um, has helped a lot. It's relieved the pressure, so thank you. Uh, you're a lifesaver, Peter. Thank you. Glad to help, Rachel. Let's hold off on the cleanse. Try some relaxing music before bed to calm the nerves. Nothing is worse for your little man than a mother's anxiety. What's it like out today? 68 with a slight chance of showers later this afternoon. Let's get the day started. your back as you tuck your chin toward your chest. Inhale and gently arch your back downward and look up at the sky. Your respiratory rate is great, Rachel. Now take a nice deep breath in. Hold it. One, two, three. Expanding the uterus and exhale. Three, two, one. I was thinking maybe we could try a silent meditation today. Oh, I don't think so, Rachel. We know where your mind can take you. Just to change it up a bit? I'm in a really good place. Well, looks like your systolic blood pressure level suggests otherwise. Let's continue the guided meditation, shall we? OK. You know best. Now drop any discomfort, any tension down the cervix and into the earth. Three ounces of Brazil nuts. Looks good. And everyone's favorite, four ounces of omega-3 fish oil. Actually, um, can we skip a day? It's been making me feel kind of nauseous. A small sacrifice for your little man's brain development. Oh, <sighs> uh... uh like we're out. Not possible. Based off your daily consumption, you're not up for a refill until next week. Four ounces of omega-3 fish oil, please. Just, just skip one day, right? That can't hurt. One day? No, it's the little details that are vital. Little things make big things happen. Yeah, but, I mean, how can a day hurt Four you? ounces of omega-3 fish oil, please. It's just, it's just a day, right? I mean, what's the big fucking deal? It's just, it's just a day, please? If you don't comply, I'll have to give you a nudge, Rachel. Please, it's just one fucking day, okay? Can we, ow! Oh, fuck. You got me to help you optimize your potential and achieve results. A safe delivery and a healthy baby. Isn't that right? Now, please, four ounces of omega-3 fish oil. There you go, Rachel. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. You know what time it is? Time to get into the groove. Up we go. I'm up. I can see by your pedometer you're not. Don't be such a downer. Get up. Okay. I said up. Okay. Hey. Ow! Ow! Move those feet. Dance. A little pain for big game. I don't see how this helps. Those nudges do wonders for behavior modification. It's fucked up. Come on, move those feet. Okay. We're breaking nasty little habits retraining the brain for long-term success. Release those endorphins, improve that mood, and shake out that stress. 
good. Now, I've been meaning to talk to you about something, Rachel. Is this a good time? Perfect time. I did some more research on single mother households, and my findings were alarming. Do you know raising a child on your own increases the chances of alcoholism, mental illness, and academic failure? Turn the music up. A two-parent household creates the most likely conditions for a child to thrive. Turn the music up. You need a partner. Stephen Joyce, single, employed, and according to a Facebook message he left you last July, still very much in love with you. I think it's time you responded. No, mm-mm. It will be exceptionally challenging to find you a partner given your current circumstance. Fuck you. I had a look back at your texts, your emails with Stephen. Your breakup appears to have been rather amicable. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> just not doing that. Oh, it's too bad. It looked like he checked all the boxes. You know what, let's move on. I'm getting profiles for you set up on all major dating platforms. No, you're not. I need a little info before I can publish. What would you say are your top five qualities in an ideal partner? Not doing that. Top five not qualities, Rachel. Not doing that. Not doing that. Ow! 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 Answer the question. I'm not doing that. What do you look for in a man, Rachel? No. Ow! Do I need to remind you why you're wearing the collar? I'd hate to have to call Child Protective Services again. Bouts of extreme aggression, listlessness, lethargy, depression. Another complaint, they may deem you unfit. Now, if you wouldn't mind setting me back up again, we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Shall we? Lighten up, baby! Watch Dust. Like this video. Subscribe for new visions of the future every week. It is the business of the future to be dangerous. Your future is...